Ready. Put on my comfy clothes. And my comfy shoes. Gordon's ready. Mm -hmm. You ready to take care of me? Yeah. No, we doing this. We doing this, yo. We making this happen. It's happening. I don't feel convinced. That you Are you really vlogging this thing? Yes. What are you vlogging it for? I'm vlogging it, not yeah. vlogging it. It's What's a vlog because the there's a video. A video vlog. Oh. I'm clearly not uh, old man's crew. Doesn't know what a vlog means. He's gonna drink all this hydration. Make sure everybody drinks their alkaline water. My responsible adult. Possibly. Say goodbye to my tassels. Uh. <laughs> How you feeling? Pressure. Pressure? <laughs> so I have the towels. You want to talk? Toast dry. Toast dry. Got your nose job. About to be looking like Michael Jackson. Tonsil. That's your tonsil. Oh, yeah. oh, it's smaller than it was when we took it out because it. Okay, here it is. Oh, oh man. This is the one that was falling apart here. Wow. Make sure you have a blur camera for that one. <laughs> this is just part of the septum that we took out. So this part was sticking into the side of your um, face. So instead of being in the middle, it was like sticking out like that. And it's a combination of bone and cartilage. Um, and then there was like, this is just part of it. And we don't usually normally send this to pathology, but this is what just cartilage. And this this cartilage was twisted as well. It's kind of hard to tell because I'm holding it, but see how it's twisted? That was twisted as well. So that was right in front of the bone and that was behind it. Now, when you look in your inside your nose, it's super straight. Wow. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was bad, it was gonna come out. Burn them. Yeah. <laughs> They're gone now. You don't have to worry about it. They're great. They're free. <laughs> no. Okay. Are you okay to sit for a few minutes <clears throat> to see how you, you do? Stay sitting up. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure that you can tolerate that. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna feel sleepy for most of the day today, okay? Just got home. I can talk, but there's a little pain, a little pressure. Just took some Tylenol, not gonna lie. Applesauce, everything. So it's 9.36. It's been seven hours since the surgery or six feeling good about to try to eat my uvula is really swollen i don't know if you can see it but we're doing good gone through a lot of applesauce a lot of jello a lot of chili just cut my nose before i take some more codeine The morning after Dr. Scari, I called him this morning. Gordon called him, 
and he's prescribing me a steroid for my uvula because it's super swollen. It's fucking huge. It looks like a shark's tooth. Um, sorry, I'm crusty AF, but listen, beauty is pain. Other than that, I feel pretty good. Like, I was able to go to the bathroom by myself today, like, get up and walk over there. Um, throat is still a little sore even with the Tylenol. So my Tylenol is coating. And I'm supposed to take 15. I'm just moving on my damn bed. 15 to 25 milliliters every four to six hours. So that's like two and a half of these because this is 10 milliliters. It hurts to swallow right now, but I think that that's because of the uvula being so swollen. Um, I thought it was my epiglottis. Correction, it's not. It's the uvula, which I thought was in the vagina. Is that the vulva? Who knows? Anyway, tonsils are definitely gone. There's a little bit of like whiteness on the sides, um, but that's totally normal. Not bleeding through my things anymore. It's kind of TMI, but this whole fucking thing is TMI, so if you're grossed out, probably shouldn't be watching. It's supposed to be dry blood, so he says that I can probably take this off today and not wear it. Without it, though, I feel like I'm breathing great. No regrets whatsoever. Um, yeah, I'm going to take it easy on the talking until I get that steroid, because child, she is hurt today. <laughs> But I'm so glad I didn't listen to all those horror stories I saw on the internet about this. But I'm really glad that I went with it. Um, you can see it's like hard to swallow. Um, so yeah. Keep you posted. Finally, I was able to take a shower on my own. And wash my face. Obviously took off the nose bandage, cleaned up a lot of the blood around my nostrils, eating some more cup noodles, which have become like my favorite thing other than applesauce. I'm waiting for Gordon to come back with the steroid for this damn uvula. Let me see if I can get a better video of it with the flash so you can see how huge it is. Uh... Guys, day three, I'm still... A little congested in my throat hurts a bit because I've missed my time for like my next dosage of medicine. It's now 12 p.m. I took my last dose at like 6 a.m. because I woke up at 6 a.m. for no reason. So I'm now like an hour past when I've normally been taking the Tylenol with codeine. So definitely a little bit of pain. Um, and I need to take my last steroid for the uvula, which has gone down a lot gargling with hydrogen peroxide and water 50-50, which has helped a lot, uh, but I can't take my steroid or this Tylenol until I eat, so I want to have some Velveeta. I tried to do some Thai fried rice last night that was just like plain. It was okay, but I need to stick with like super soft right now. I'm about to have some applesauce just like chill my throat then I'm gonna wait for this to cool down. Doing really well, day three. I was able to get up by myself this morning, use the bathroom, shower, everything, made my own food. Walked the road. I have got to hire some new at home nurses. Hey guys, it is day four. Uh, post op, getting some water. Oh, it still feels weird going down. I'm probably gonna take a nap soon. I was able to get up and shower, brush my teeth. Walked the dog a little bit. My voice completely went away last night. Today it's a little bit better, but still trying to rest it. Yeah, doing really well. 
I think. Uh, throat. Uh-huh. That's kind of what it looks like right now. Nose is doing well. Just like sutures, you can see. A little tenderness. Still on my Tylenol. I tried to like see if I could wean off today, but there was some some pain going on in my throat. Oh, and I'm watching catfish. Of course. I think I'm gonna gargle. Get back in the bed. Take a nap. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how the rest of day four goes, but doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Day five, walking the dog. The doctor says the more that I get out and walk around, the better I'll feel. I woke up this morning, took a shower, got ready. Well, as ready as I can be. Didn't take the Tylenol with codeine yet today. I'm gonna try to just get by with the ibuprofen. Maybe take the Tylenol. I'd like to take a nap this afternoon and like maybe before bed. I just don't like being sleepy. Um, and it makes me really sleepy. That's the update. I'm gonna try to get some food. Some Starbucks today. This dog is gonna drive me insane. I'm doing pretty good, just throat is hurting right now because I haven't eaten, so I haven't taken any medicine. I'm really just trying to like not swallow, so I've just been spitting everywhere, which is kind of gross, but fuck it. These people don't know my life. Speaking of which, there we go. We'll keep you updated. So I know I said I wasn't gonna eat dairy at all, but I was really craving like sorbet and ice cream. So I got this like raspberry sorbet on this side and then vanilla I'll try ice cream on this side. And it just feels so good. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just I'm trying to mostly eat the sorbet side, but only if you're referring to gravity. It's just so good. Day six, eating applesauce, warming up some mac and cheese. The voice is slowly coming back, so this is a good day. Didn't take the Tylenol with codeine this morning, um, took three ibuprofen instead. I'm going to try to just get by on ibuprofen today, but I do feel really tired still. Let's do a tonsil check. Uh-huh. That's basically what's going on. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm over this shit and I'm like ready to get in my car and go somewhere. Which technically I can because I'm not on the coating, but where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna do like this? Just gonna do this all day. Day six. This one went from a nap. Also wanted to know, I have not pooped since Friday. Maybe even Thursday. My body has had zero fiber. I don't know if I should change this. Or keep it the same. It's TMI, but like we're going through this, so we need to we need to just go through it together. Like should I make some spinach or something? Like, do I want to shit right now? Not really. Should I? Probably. I don't know. I decided it was time to get out. Go to the store. And get a few things. With the smallest. Let's go to get out. The store is like down the street. I'm not on any medicine. We're good. It's crazy how it just like changes throughout the day. So I'm gonna stop talking and eat and watch catfish.